and uh, welcome to uh, another video episode 2 2024 i'm gonna be showing you how to yeah, switch over from your old plates to the new plates generation that's uh, for the kenyan market well um, as you can see there now log into your e-citizen account i assume you're already in uh, while you're there, take on the NTSA option. Under the tab, you will see all your listed uh, vehicles. That is, um, the, click the one you want. Under motor vehicle services, click the option and uh, you go to reflective plate, click apply. Uh, the vehicle particulars will show up. Uh, no need to worry about anything, no filling up on any of those just uh, the only thing they will require to is to verify the vehicle model which you can look up on your logbook at this point i assume you have a soft copy a scanned copy rather. it could be saved up in your desktop uh, mine was in the download so the particular model is of the fourth options there kjcr 52v uh, let's go back to the tab and uh, fill it up right there. KJ hyphen CR52 Victor. And, and uh, let's uh, attach the logbook there, the copy of it. So uh, nicely done there, logbook KZ. Open. And that brings it up to the window. Click next. Reason for reflective plate, pick the new generation, and then now under the, the preceding section, scans combined copy of logbook and the front and the back number plates. Mm -hmm. That's are the photos of the front and the back number plates. Now, how do we do this? I open my copy of the logbook with Photoshop. So I'm going to uh, include the photos of the rear and the front uh, number plates. Nicely done. You can, all, you can as well uh, use uh, other apps if there is, uh, yeah, you don't have to rely on Photoshop alone. But for this particular video, I find Photoshop easily available to me so that's what I'm gonna use also the photos open them on separate windows so that it allows you to crop and then join you will see that in a minute the front one right there very well the selection tool now is our logbook window and let's uh, create some space down there so that we can fit in the other uh, the photos so yeah just slide it up a bit after you select it then just cut a section of the plate it doesn't have to be the entire photo so just a section of it to show the i assume they are asking for this because uh, when we later on go on to the option of uh, the selecting option of the plates you want you will notice that they have long options and square one both the, the rear has both the long and the square so for them not to make a mix up of any i think that's why they're asking for you to include photos so here are our photos nicely done and then hmm, here are the layers let's bring them down there then save it up save us make sure you add uh yeah you rename it right there so that that you don't override the other logbook copy uh, pick up the smallest size for space purpose view after saving the reason why we picked the smallest file size possible is to allow for an efficient flow of data you know when the file is too large to load a bit longer so the copy one is you can attach right there nicely done 
here are the options and you can see the long ones on the left and the square one on the right um, feel free to pause on that particular window so that uh, you can get a grasp of it for your own purpose you might choose to go the other way around the option is right here so type of number plate front that would be the long one the one on the back would be the square one so the back one yes yeah, square notification mode sms email location i will be picking them up in nairobi there's, op there's also an option for industrial area likoni i assume that's the ntsa branch which is uh, located there well with the nairobi i assume it's the upper hill one so let's uh, fill up the collector's particulars you fill up your id form click on the declaration after the preview button you will uh, be taken to the payment window and uh, at the filming time of this video the charges are at 3050 shillings thank you and uh, yeah have a good one